They call life a game. They call it the game of life. You know what happens in most games, particularly board games? You have what is called the labyrinth effect, right? A labyrinth effect where you just going around and around and around, level after level after level, stage after stage, right? Boss after boss. And at the end of the day, you're still in the game. <laughs> No matter how, how many different levels you pass, how many one-ups, right? It's like the initial uh, Super Mario Brothers sequence. You, 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 defeat a, you, defeat a, uh, you defeat one of the Bowsers. You defeat one of the Koopas. And they say, your princess is in another castle, so... You still can't get to the Divine Feminine and you're passing through worlds now at this point. And ironically, they have eight worlds for Mario. That's symbolic too. You're reaching beyond the initial, what, seven energy centers, seven chakras, seven candlesticks. You being the one who, who holds the seven branched menorah as the priest, being the original flame, so... You got that, but still is levels and inside these levels you definitely got this uh sense of being caught up in the labyrinth where you can't shake it where you stuck. Now what you do in the labyrinth because you know you can't uh you can't win this game on speed is an endurance test. That's why they talk about how long can you endure. It's an endurance test. It's not how fast you can run. It's how long you can run. It's, you know, it's like status is one thing, but stamina is another. One more. So it's, it's status and stamina, and in the um, in the quick fix microwave um, era, you'll have status being put ahead of stamina, and so a person is just grasping for you know character after character after character, and just get burnt out trying to become something trying to become something else they already somebody but they fall into the trap of trying to be somebody else super t sigma sigma programming stay wise